Welcome to this video guys, so today I want to present you something very special I did, so as we can see it's pure Windows XP, <laughs> but uh, you're gonna ask what is so special in this XP, so let me show you. You can see guys, it's running on Ryzen 5950X. So it's running on my Proxmox and uh, you can see we have the GPU drivers and I must I managed to make Firefox working. So let me show you. Pitch uh, power up. Radeon 7950 so you see guys uh, these graphics cards I have here which is uh, which is from 2012 and uh, it's passed to the uh, to the GPU, uh, to the virtual machine, and I am using here Ryzen 5950X, and uh, I am using four core of it. So as we can see, and this and this video card, it has drivers for Windows XP. Year from uh, uh, for uh, like uh, year from. Uh, 2014 and uh, let me show you actually so we can see it's a catalyst control panel and uh, the hardware here also you can see system information. It's a Windows XP. Uh, that's the emulated uh, chipset. And uh, I have uh, like four gigs of RAM from which only 3 gigabytes are being used so we can see here uh, yeah. 4.5 gigahertz yeah. and uh, for the browser I was managed to install Firefox and uh, it's still working on on websites basically I can open let me check YouTube I'm curious youtube.com is this going to work Nine later update your browser no it's not a loss to when it, maybe m dot youtube.com the mobile version oh no make mistake m dot youtube.com like this no so youtube it's not working like this but uh, I know one program, Lesson Player, with this I think we will be able to make it work. Ooh. 
maybe I need some older version. Anyway, I will do some research and uh, probably I will find old version that may work or maybe some other solution for XP. I'm not aware. Uh, if you know, guys, which browsers uh, you're still can play YouTube from Windows XP, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will try to find some uh, or to research to find some other browsers. But for now, let's try to run 3D Mark. You see, the 3D Mark was not able to detect the MMX instruction. Of course, the processor has MMX, you see, but it's MMX plus. It's not, yeah, maybe that's why. But it will, it will run. It's not a problem. It will run, and uh, we're gonna change, of course, the resolution. Triple compress, let's like this, and uh, let's benchmark. So, can you imagine, guys, how much the score will be? <laughs> let's see, you see, almost 1000 FPS. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I was experimenting here with uh, previous videos like running Windows 7 on virtual machine on the same Ryzen, but I was like, why not try to run XP, <laughs> maybe it will be more fun. So I was able to find uh, XP up to patch up to 2017, I know the support ended 2014. But uh, here we are, some extended support, which ended, I think, 2017, if I'm not wrong. But the last version I was able to find was patched to, with updates to up to 2017. And uh, Radeon drivers, I found, uh, basically there for uh, 2014. So I am, we are free to try a lot of games, like to test. So if you guys have some recommendations for what games I can test in the next video, let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to try <laughs> because uh, first time I'm trying like like this to run on such a modern hardware. So I know in YouTube there's uh, many people who are running uh, like Windows 98, Windows XP native on some uh, powerful hardware. But uh, my idea is uh, why we need to make such a gimmicks like trying to run native as we can use Proxmox and basically the hypervisor run close to native speed. And it's a lot more easier to do like this and pass the video card to the virtual machine and then trying to modify the, like, uh, patch the operating system and stuff like this with unsupported chipset drivers and everything else. So running like this with uh, Proxmox or QEMU, is, it will be a lot more easier. So anyone can try this and uh, test it. Of course, there is a little bit of uh, tricks, uh, but I will explain this uh, how uh, I managed to do it in my website. So if you guys didn't visit my forum, I will leave a link under the, this video description and here I will put the screenshot how exactly I configured this uh, Proxmox Windows XP virtual machine and uh, but it's a lot easier than Windows 7 I can say uh, I was 
able to install the driver and everything was uh, way easier. So you guys see the nature test. So back in time uh, when the 3D Mark released this uh, test, many people probably Yeah, we are not into the computers back then, but uh, when I saw this for the first time, I was like, wow, such a beautiful, basically this is the first DirectX 9 uh, shader graphics, like everything that DirectX 9 uh, introduced to the GPU, like shaders, uh, programmable, programmable shaders, uh, this test represents. So basically this graphics card is capable of running uh, uh, DirectX 11 and even they support uh, uh, DirectX 12 in software I think. But uh, uh, currently in TXP, it's limited only to DirectX 9. So we can try to run some older retro games, which are up to DirectX 9. And I'm still wondering, uh, like, what what games I can try? Maybe because I already tried like. Uh, Maybe I can try Serious Sun Unreal Tournament again to see how it will be. And uh, Dirt Rally. Dirt Rally. Uh, maybe some older Need for Speed. Or Tomb Raider. I don't know. There are so many titles you can try. But uh, I can tell you that this virtual machine is faster than any retro computer and probably it's way easier to run XP like this than trying to build retro, retro XP computer from older hardware because this will run on any hardware like uh, I, I can imagine any uh, modern Intel or AMD hardware should be able to run this virtual machine like this if you install Proxmox So, I think it's uh, way more reliable and simple solution to do than installing uh, XP. Even if you install on VMware, the performance will be not the same or lower because VMware is simulating uh, like GPU and it's losing a lot of speed like this. But here we are using native drivers like the graphics uh, and this region is one of the more powerful card that still has driver for XP and uh, it, it, we can use like this with uh, native drivers. So I was wondering, let me check uh, when I was thinking to try the XP. I was like, let me check is this card to support uh, like the drivers for XP and when I saw that the card has drivers I was like oh I will try I will try to run this virtual machine to see so as you can see the score is like 61,044 one 3D mark score <laughs> so it's amazing Okay, this was like quick video demonstration how we can run Windows XP on modern, modern hardware. So if you like this video guys, please like and, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.